Hey, hi, I'm, this is going to be a short video to talk to you about making plastics uh, and using in particular the engraver. Now, one thing about this engraver, if you're careful, you can really make a nice keychain or a fob for uh, yourself or someone in your family or a friend. It's not hard to do. There's some simple instructions involved, but they can be really done nicely. You'll notice on this particular one, I don't know if you can see very well on the camera, but they really took their time and if you notice the edge of the plastic, they really got a good polishing and a nice shine on it. So that turned out quite well. Um, nice example. Now another thing you'll be doing with this unit too is um, making a keychain or a key fob using two different colored plastics. The nice thing about this one too is if you look at the edge, you can see how carefully that somebody, I wonder if I can get in focus here, someone took the time to really do a nice job to get that edge finished. As you can see, the same here with the lettering on the side. They really polished it out. But that comes later on. This main video right now is primarily intended to show you how to use the engraving machine. Now, we're just going to use a regular old piece of plastic here. One thing it's important to remember when you get the plastic is please don't remove the paper. The paper you want to leave on for as long as possible. This paper will help protect it against scratches getting chips, and it helps you get a better control surface on the plastic itself. So you'll actually want to leave the, pla the paper on the plastic at least on until day number two when you've, you've sanded it at home, or sanded it and polished it and buffed it, and even drilled the hole. After you've drilled the hole, sanded the edges, buffed it, then you can remove the paper. Now this is the machine, I'll back up a little bit here if I can. This is the machine that you're going to be using for your engraving. The plastic piece you're going to be engraving on goes into this section right here. Your letters will go into this section over here. This is the tool that's used, the hex wrench that's used to tighten the nuts on the, on the machine. Now please remember, these nuts, they need to be tightened firmly, but they don't need to be tightened excessively. Okay. The first thing you're going to do is locate your plastic and center it in the machine underneath the hold. I'm going to zoom in here because this has always been a tricky spot for people to do. I hope you can see here. But the plastic should not be like should not be inside like this. Do you notice that this clamp is not really doing any holding power when it's at the side? The clamp needs to be on top of the plastic by a little bit. Now, when it comes to tightening up the um, clamp, you don't need to really overdo it. Just a couple good twists to make it snug. Sometimes you need to hold the um, clamp from under the, the, the piece of metal underneath so it doesn't spin. But basically, snug it down till it's firm. You don't have to wrench it super tight, okay? Now, the letters go inside this area over here, in this section right here. For this one, why don't I just do one that says Mom? M O M Mom. Now, it always makes it a, a real treat if you can return the letters exactly in the right location for the next person to use it. Taking care to make sure the, the letters aren't tipped over or misplaced. So putting them back is really important. And believe it or not, these little plastic letters are quite expensive. Each one costs about $10 with shipping, handling, and, and um, the purchase price. Why they're so expensive, I don't really know, but they are very pricey. So please make sure these letters get returned and get treated well. All right, thanks. Okay, back to the letters here. Since this is the center of our machine, we're going to try to have the letters half on this side of this line, half on this side of the line. Now these can be tightened down finger tight like so. 
Then with gentle pressure, I'm applying gentle pressure with my hand. I can tighten this side just gently with finger and forefinger, thumb and forefinger. Same on the back, gentle pressure. Tighten it up, doesn't have to be super tight. I'm gonna pull the chain out of the way. Now I can check and see these don't move. This plastic doesn't move. Now I can begin the engraving process. This is the switch that turns on the machine. Now you'll want to be sure while you're engraving this cord doesn't get in the way because it can get in the way. So these are out of the way. Now before turning the machine on I'm going to check and see if the letters indeed fit where they're supposed to be fitting on the rece rece receiving end of the plastic. I'm checking it, pushing down. I'm pushing down on this side right here. And you can see from the machine that all the letters are la landing right where they need to be. Also, you need to make sure that the um, tools are, uh, are, are tight and ready to go. All right, we, we've got this right where we want it to be. We're ready to go. Okay, you can turn it on. Now it looks like it turned out pretty well, but sometimes what happens is students won't push down quite hard enough. So I'm going to go back and trace a second time over these letters. There we go, M-O-M, -M, mom. Now, there's a temptation for students to want to remove the paper, peel it off, but don't do that. Like I said, keep the paper on until you finish sanding it. Now the removal of the letters is just easy. Just as easy, we, I'm gonna get this here. We loosen these just a little bit, a quarter turn is all it takes. Half turn for this one, half turn for that one. Now I've seen students twisting and twisting and twisting and twisting. You really don't need to do it. All you need is a half turn to loosen it. You should be a half turn to tighten it, okay? Gently pull back on these. Take the letters. Return the letters to the place where they belong. Put the letters over here. Loosen up this piece here. Now we have our th plastic. We can take the sandpaper and begin sanding. Now this process of sanding takes a long time. A lot of students think, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're done. Actually, as long as you can see these white kind of cut marks from the saw blade, you still have a lot to go. You should end it probably will take you close to an hour to an hour and a, two hours sanding these edges. If you wish, you can go back into the room and you can use the belt sander to round 
the edges like that. You can round the edges here, round the edges there. Also drill a hole for your keychain. Now, secret to drilling the hole is you don't want to drill it fast. If you go fast, I guarantee you there's good chances you're going to break that plastic and it'll you'll get a chip off to the side. And it'll be really disappointing because you worked real hard sanding and getting everything right. And then you drill too quickly and you end up with a crack coming off there. The other thing is, once you sand these on the belt sander, you need to go back with the sandpaper and sand those by hand to get it perfectly smooth. Once it's smooth and polished by hand, sandpaper polishing, you can go to the buffer and really get a nice shine on it. Okay. Um, there's one other thing I wanted to mention, and that is some people later on they like to fill in the lettering with uh, with whiteout, and you're welcome to do that if you choose to do so. Well, I hope you have fun with your your plastics. I hope you end up with a really nice. Um, name tag as a gift for somebody. I think, I think they'll enjoy it quite a bit and you'll think you'll have fun making it. It's not too hard if you, if you follow the step-by-step -step instructions. All right, good luck.